My name is Samantha and this is my van. She's a 2005 Mercedes Sprinter. So the beauty of a Sprinter is that it's kind of like Lego. You can do what you want with it. And I was fortunate enough to meet a couple who buys and sells vans for, um, for a living. So they did most of the interior work, but come on in. So she's not all finished as far as like cooking and um, washing dishes and everything goes, but it's just the beginning stages. Awesome toolbox here. And I have my uh, Camp Chef Everest stove, which when I get my propane tank, um, this is the hose it'll connect to. I'm just gonna run it through here and then I can just bring up my camp stove. And I have my max air fan here um, that opens up. So if it's a cold day, uh, I don't have to worry about opening up the van or if I wanted to stay incognito, I can just, uh, yeah, open up, open up this guy here. Also brings in more light too, because when you're in a sprinter, you have to build your own windows and all that. So that's quite a project. So we have to wait for day to come when that happens. Just storage for cooking stuff and school, bathroom, and just some oversized sweaters, and more storage for life and things in school. The importance of staying organized in a van is essential because when you're moving around and driving, things shift everywhere. So the great thing about this toolbox is that it has locks on it so I can lock the, uh, lock the drawers so the drawers aren't sliding open which I've definitely forgot to do. And I have a uh, two jugs down here. So I have a, a clean water tank and a gray water tank. Um, eventually that'll be hooked up and I have a SureFlow faucet that I'm going to install here and a pump. Um, I'm gonna run that through some accessory batteries and I have my pure sine wave inverter just in the back there waiting to be all hooked up. Um, but eventually it'll be fully functioning and I won't have to uh, rely on uh, a home base at all. I have a large bed, because that's important to me, um, and lots of storage space underneath. Um, a closet here, and more storage back there, and books. Um, yeah, all my school things, keeping life together. So these seats, two seats here, and I have my little desk that I work in. Um, it's a little sticky, it's a little sand, but um, it's great for student life. And then underneath here, I have a toilet um, for emergencies. Um, it has a tank on the bottom that I can just um, uh, put into the... Uh, I haven't quite figured out the system yet. I'm not too sure where I put it. I guess in the toilet somewhere. <laughs> More storage under here. I'm going to put the batteries when I get them under here and hook it up. What made you want to live in the van in the first place? I was inspired by um, my a few friends. One of my friends who's saved up a bunch of money and now has a down payment on a piece of property. And that was my biggest inspiration because I'd realized I'd spent $14,000 in rent in the past year and a half here in Victoria. And um, I invested 20 grand into um, this Sprinter, um, took out loans, um, lines of credit, did what I could to make it happen as an investment because I'll be able to pay it off in a year and a half. How has it been being a student while living in a van? Um, it's actually really nice because I have my own space I'm not distracted by roommates um, yeah yeah I'm we were fortunate to have really great Wi-Fi at the house so it extends like the 5g out here so I can still work on the computer so we're ramping into some cold weather what are your plans for staying warm in the van well I'm fortunate that I have a house hookup right now so it's my little space here um, doesn't do the best job but Victoria it's manageable, it doesn't get too cold in Victoria, so we're not uh, 
I'm too worried. And then when I am um, doing van life totally without re- relying on a home, um, yeah, getting some sort of pro- propane system going. Haven't looked into that too much, but um, I've also run really warm and I have hella blanket and a really comfy bed. And the van, the Sprinter is really well insulated. So, and having no windows really keeps the heat in. Um, what are some challenges that you've found so far living in a van? I'm really fortunate that I'm parked in a driveway with a home. So, um, I haven't come across any challenges other than having to... The thing, the problem with having a Mercedes Sprinter is that the engine isn't like other vans. It's very, you need very specific tools and a specific knowledge base in order to maintain the engine. So I have uh, like one mechanic friend who knows the engine in and out, but without him, I feel a little lost and scared um, for when anything does happen. Um, So as far as, yeah, mechanics go, um, doing that, yeah, when that moment comes, that's going to be a scary moment if I don't have my... uh, the can of candy. And what are the biggest benefits that you found living in a van so far? Freedom. Freedom and like the the hope of not paying rent in like a few years. Um, and because I'm a student, I pay $250 a month to park my van in the driveway and to share the space. Um, so I'm still in the end, like saving money eventually. Um, so yeah, saving money, freedom, and just doing it differently, living life differently um, than other people um, because we've fucked up as a society and we need to start making changes and so this is what I feel like I can do um, right now. It's a, it's a movement and living in small spaces makes you realize what you really need um, and what you can throw away or give away. I feel like minimalism for me means doing what I can to protect the environment. So um, yeah, I feel like that path of being environmentally aware has led me into this life. Or would you recommend this lifestyle to anybody? And if so, what type of person do you think it's suited for? Independent people, people who aren't afraid to um, do it yourself like the DIYers out there, this is totally for you. I think it's for anyone really, would, depending on what stage of life you're in. You can even like have a van and um, use this as your method of traveling and say, instead of like going to like hotels or like having to worry about like booking in at a hostel or anything. If you have this, whether you're with like friends or family, um, you always have a home. So home is super important to me. It's like one of my number one values. If you want to rely on yourself and you want to stop relying on other people, I feel like, besides my mechanic, obviously, um, I feel like van life is for, for you. What would you say to somebody that's already looking into this and really thinking about doing van life? Have a good relationship with the person who's selling you the van. Know the van in and out. Get it a first opinion, a second opinion, a third opinion, a fourth opinion, so you're not getting ripped off. So you know the engine is... Um, in good working order, um, having some mechanics skills at the beginning is really important, um, which I don't have, but I just jumped into it, but I'm uh, willing to learn. So being willing to learn is super important. If you can sustain yourself, whether that's like, you know, financially, environmentally, um, and like be comfortable with your own routine and your own values, from that, you can share and give an offer um, to the planet and to your friends and family. Having friends who also have vans and surrounding yourself around people who live a similar lifestyle and mindset can really help you sustain um, this lifestyle because as much as it's an independent thing, we always need help um, and being able to ask for help with those who we know will give it to us in you know a good way is uh is super important so yeah 
surround yourself around people who um, value the same lifestyle. What's up guys, it's Forrest. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please hit like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Right below me right now is a playlist of a whole bunch of videos I've done on alternative dwellings, vans, sailboats, tiny homes, all sorts of good stuff. So go ahead and click that link and continue watching. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week. I upload every single Monday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time.